Ezra looked like out there this morning. Our own Brian Hale sending in this video. Look at that blue sky uh, we had across the valley today. But uh, that's going to be with us tomorrow. But we can see some changes uh, later on this week. Uh, right now, though, temperatures are in the 90s for much of us at this hour. Brownsville sitting at 94 degrees. McAllen, uh, 97. And that's not even the feels like temperature. So still uh, rather warm out there. But it's going to be uh, not bad this evening. Uh, getting down, it's about 78 degrees. Clear skies, another humid uh, night. The winds, though, going to be rather light as they start to switch more out of the easterly uh, direction as we get in towards your Monday. And speaking of Monday, uh, tomorrow morning, waking up, heading off to work, uh, not bad. Sunny skies, temperatures will be right around that 80 degree mark uh, by the 8 o'clock hour, but uh, quickly uh, continuing to warm up into the upper 90s as you get in towards the afternoon hours. 98 degrees in Harlingen on Monday. Look at that 103 out in uh, Rio Grande City. Up along the, the beaches, though, not as bad uh, looking at in the 80s, looking about 80 88 degrees if you're going to be heading off to South Padre Island on Monday. Looking at that Gulf temperature right around 82 degrees. The marine forecast, well, we're going to see the winds out of the northeast about 10 to 15 uh, through much of the day, but that bay temperature right around 86 degrees. Light chop expected on Laguna Madre for you tomorrow. But let's take a look at the future cast here. Now, quiet the rest of the night. Uh, but we get in towards uh, Monday afternoon, things are starting to change a little bit, especially as we get in towards the regular of the work week. Look off to the north, uh, you can see a, a dipping uh, frontal system, and this is going to affect our weather mainly more on Tuesday, uh, but it is going to bring in maybe one or two uh, pop-up showers. I'm not expecting anything widespread Monday though that will change once you get into Tuesday. Watch as we move ahead here. Uh, as you get in towards Tuesday afternoon, you start to see the higher clouds move in, and then we'll start to notice more of those pop-up showers, especially out towards Star County, and watching them become a little bit more widespread as you get in towards the evening hours. We haven't had a storm system like this uh, in a couple weeks, so something to keep in mind as we are going to looks like uh, maybe have a very active pattern as you get in towards uh, Tuesday afternoon for us. So let's take a look ahead as we get in towards the evening hours. We are going to start to see more of that rainfall uh, picking up some spots could pick up as much as maybe uh, maybe half inch to maybe an inch and a half worth of rain as those storm systems uh, push in through the area and again these are going to be part of those isolated uh, thunderstorms that push through uh, in the afternoon hours on Tuesday now that, that rain percentage chance will drop down to maybe general sea breeze storms as you get in towards Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday and then another chance of some higher rainfall as you get in towards Sunday next weekend so the other thing we're watching for you though still those hot temperatures at least to start the work week though they will cool back into the mid 90s as you get in towards uh, next weekend now the tropics though we are looking at things getting pretty busy again uh, we do have uh, the remnants of kyle pushing away josephine is now weakened into just to a tropical low and that's going to affect us the bahama uh, excuse me bermuda uh, bringing in some rainfall but we have two other storm chances one off africa and one near the leeward islands and these are going to be ones to watch in the coming weeks so uh, right now only at 40 percent chance of development though does look better uh, down the road, but the next two storms, Laura and Marco, so something to watch uh, down the road for us. Uh, but things are looking a lot more active uh, moving forward, so uh, something to keep in mind uh, for that. And then you can thank the nice warm water and the less shear in the atmosphere with that La Nina developing. But uh, really, this week, the main focus is going to be the thunderstorms for us on Tuesday, and then maybe again next Sunday.